You're about to learn the five fastest online computer degrees in the entire world. I'm going to give guidance on how to pick the one best for you based on your circumstances, and at the end of this video, I'll share a detailed plan on how to earn the top degree on this list in under six months. The University of Massachusetts Global has an information technology degree that you can earn in just 12 months. This degree is about one third general education courses, or AKA a review of high school, about a half major area courses. And then in the free electives, you have to fit in some specializations in various topics. Now, information technology is unique from computer science because information technology focuses on helping a business use technology to achieve their goals, while computer science creates that technology for IT to use. And this degree is awesome at being practical with classes like networking, security, and operating systems. The really cool part about this degree is that it's competency based, which means you pay $3,200 for six months and try to knock out as many classes as you can. You study for each class, take a final exam that proves you're competent in the content, and then you move on to the next class. All right, so if you know the material for a course, you can basically just skip straight to the final exam. And if you pass that, you move on to the next course and you can take that final and move on to the next course and take that final. Instead of taking an arbitrary eight weeks per course, you can just pack as many courses as you want in there and graduate for way less money. And you're also going at your own pace, which means you can graduate super fast, potentially at UMass Global for under $7,000 and under one year. The fourth fastest and best computer degree is the BS in Information Technology from Excelsior University. And you can see that they even have concentrations in general, cybersecurity technology, and network operations. Unfortunately, Excelsior costs $510 per credit hour, which is expensive for online courses. But the secret with them is that they'll let you transfer in almost the entire 120 credit degree. And they'll let you count some certifications and training as college credit too. And if you use what we call college hacking, you might be able to transfer in the utmost 113 credits that is the maximum that they will accept towards a 120 credit degree. And even though college hacking sounds like we're breaking into their databases or something, all it is is using third-party, non-traditional, alternative college credits from around the internet to be able to replace traditional, more expensive, longer-taking actual college courses. For instance, Excelsior accepts a lot of different CLEP exams, and you can go pay $100 for a CLEP exam, study for a couple of weeks, pass the test, and then get three college credits. Plus, there are third-party course providers like Sophia.org or Study.com where you sign up for a subscription for a month and then try to knock out as many courses as you can. So combine some non-traditional credit with some work experience credit and some previous transfer credit, and you might be able to graduate from Excelsior University in just a few months for under $4,000. Thomas Edison State University's Computer Science BA blew my mind the first time that I hacked it for a client. This degree is not competency-based, but despite being a a standard week by week course structure, it is still one of the fastest computer science degrees out there and it is amazing. You can hack almost the entire 45 credit general education section and it's got a large 30 credit free elective section but the piece de resistance is the 45 credit very customizable major area. Seven of the courses have very specific requirements for what you need to do, but then you've got 18 credits of computer electives and six more credits of general science electives that you can transfer in or earn however you want. The biggest negative is that it's a BA in computer science or a Bachelor of Arts instead of a Bachelor of Science, which is a little bit odd and some people might raise an eyebrow, but the course content is there. It's still very much a computer degree, and I don't think you'll be sorry if you go with it. Excelsior is great for people with work experience who are transferring in a ton of credits, but if you are starting from scratch and need to earn credits from all sorts of places to be able to graduate inexpensively and quickly, Thomas Edison is a great choice, and you could be graduating from them in the next nine months for under $7,000. Purdue University Global might be the single fastest computer science degree that you can get online. Plus, it's competency-based, so you can go at your own pace. And there's also this matter of having the Purdue name, which is pretty cool to have on a diploma since Purdue is basically one step below Ivy League. But what makes this degree so fast? Let's take a closer look. First off, don't worry that it's 180 credits. Their credit counting system is a little bit weird, but it's still the same amount of work as a 120 credit degree. Their general education section is very flexible. You can transfer in or hack almost all of these. Their major area, you can transfer in about half of them from websites like Sophia or study.com, which are these you know great third-party alternative credit sources. And then they've even got a free elective section, though you do have to fill up part of it with some kind of a concentration. So why is this school number two on the list? There are four reasons. 
One, Purdue generally requires that students have at least three years of work experience before they apply. Two, while most competency-based programs have one final per course, Purdue has one final per credit. So instead of doing 40 final exams, you're doing 180. Three, the capstone course is actually a standard week-by-week -week type course. And four, they're pretty expensive for a competency-based program. They charge $2,500 for a 10-week term, which comes out to about $36 a day, while UMass Global only charges basically $17 a day. Despite all of that, if you put the work in and transfer in as many credits as you can from other sources, you can easily get that Purdue name in under nine months for under $8,000. WGU is the king of competency-based computer degrees. You can see that they've got computer science, cybersecurity, data analytics, software engineering, IT management, IT, cloud computing, and so many others. And their process is streamlined, but they do charge more than UMass Global at 4K for six months, which comes out to about $22 per day. But they accept way more transfer credit than UMass Global but not as much as Thomas Edison or Excelsior. So if you've got a bunch of college credit from previous experience that you wanna get used, WGU won't probably be able to use all of it. The biggest con is that they don't accept international students, but if you're an American, you can actually transfer in up to two thirds of some of their computer degrees through Sophia or study.com and then be able to finish the remaining courses in as little as one term. And I'm gonna show you how to do that at the end of this video. But the truth is that you don't even need to hack a WGU degree, though you should because it'll save you a lot of time and save you a lot of money. I was actually just on the phone with one of their admissions counselors and he told me about a student that he had who did the entire WGU degree in under six months, just one term about four grand. And even though WGU doesn't have any free electives, they actually make up for it by having a lot of really high value specific courses about their computer degrees. And you can actually combine those with IT certifications that you can learn along the way. All told, you can graduate WGU in under six months for $4,100. But if you don't wanna spend 80 hours a week doing that, like the guy I was just talking about, check out this video where I'll explain how you can use study.com courses and show you exactly which study.com courses fulfill which requirement in the computer science degree so that you can graduate quickly and inexpensively and build a career that you love. No need to thank me. Thank you for watching and happy hacking.